Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. So this session is all about a topic on disabling interrupts. This was one of the solution that was mentioned in the list <coughs> to solve a critical section problem. So in that list, if you recall, I had listed out all the solutions that uh, one was using the lock variable, the another was using the TSL instruction, then you had using the, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> weight variable, then uh, using the flag variable, Peterson solution, also in the list was what this heading disabling interrupts this is also one of the solution to solve the critical section problem first let us see what are the different causes for what causes for preemption yes the, in this way i can causes for preemption when does a process gets preempted first thing is because we have the time slicing concept here a timer is set once the timer value becomes zero the process is set because all the scheduling algorithms they use what the time slicing mechanism wherein you are going to see that it will be executed or scheduled only for that particular period of time for that timers are used this is one of the reason for preempt uh, for a process to get preempted then you have what whenever a process wants to make an input output request that is one more okay reason for a process to get preempted it will get what relieved from the cpu and it will go, what try to carry out its input and output request sometimes what will happen there is a power failure even this reason is there for preemption if there is a hardware failure okay for these are the different causes for preemption now to make suppose if we try to mask all these things that means you are disabling you are disabling you should not make the cpu what face this timers input output power failure or anything then what will happen is the processes that are getting executed in the uh, critical section will never get interrupted suppose if p1 is trying to enter into the critical section it will make what it will disable the interrupts it will disable the interrupts in a sense here there is no question for the process p1 which is currently running to get preempted because what it has done is it has disabled the interrupts if the interrupts are uh, disabled then no other process can enter into the critical section it will carry out its uh, job in the critical section it will come out but what it has to do is it has to carry out before at the time that means once it comes out from the critical section it, it should enable the interrupt so for this reason for this particular uh, concept i can explain you in this manner if this is the critical section the entry section is there the exit section is here okay when it is about to enter into the critical section it has to disable the interrupts if the interrupts are disabled no other process will be allowed to enter into the critical section and this because this process will not get pre preempted in simpler words you can say that if uh, the interrupts are disabled then this but interrupt is what it is like a interruption okay whatever is the existing process that is going on it gets interrupted and when it gets interrupted the cpu will re uh, preempt the existing process and it will try to what it will try to serve the other process which has made an which has made an interrupt call here the process which is entering into the critical section has disabled the interrupts it uses the <coughs> shade variables or whatever job it has to do in the critical section but at the kind at the time of leaving that means after it comes out from the critical section it has to what enable the interrupts this is the procedure so that only one process at a time is there in the critical section so though we find this solution okay to be more simpler but it is having a very big disadvantage the disadvantage is the process which has disabled the interrupts suppose if it does not enable it back then what will be the situation in the system if the system will completely come to an halt and what you are doing is you are giving the authority for a user level process to disable the interrupts that is also not advisable so this is not at all a good idea to solve the critical section problem using the disabling interrupts concept hope this session is useful to you all thank you and if you find this session useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care